May I request everybody to please stand for the prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. As from, from evil. evil. Amen. Amen. So good morning, grade 3 student. Good, good morning, morning ma'am. Ma How are you today? We're fine, ma'am. Okay, I will check your attendance. Liana Shilabao. Present. Daphne Shilabao. Present. Present. Shen Labao. Present. Lucia Labao. Present, ma'am. Okay, do you want to sing a song, class? So let's have a short recap of our lesson yesterday. Class, who can remember of what was our lesson yesterday? Lucelle. Our lesson yesterday was all about animal adaptation. Great, you can still remember our lesson yesterday. So before we continue to our discussion, let us read first the question. So everybody, please read. What, what is, is the, the difference, difference between invertebrates and vertebrates animals? So we will answer this right after we finish our lesson. So I want everybody to sit properly, arms on your table, feet together under your chair, and listen carefully. Do you understand, class? Yes, ma'am. So, Let's give first the meaning of the following words that we may encounter in our discussion. So first is backbone. backbone. So everybody please read. A, a column, column of backbone supporting, supporting the, the trunk, trunk of, a of vertebrate a vertebrate animals. animals. Okay. Second one is the word classify. classify. So what's the meaning of the word classify? Grouping things. Grouping things. So the third one is the pelvis. So the meaning of the pelvis word is adjoining bones of the spine. So the last one is presence. So the meaning of the word presence is condition of being present. So now I have here a picture. What is in the picture class? Cat ma'am. Okay, very good. So how do you care for your cat? By giving food, ma'am. Okay, very good. That's right. So, next, next is what animal is this class? A pig, ma'am. Wow, very good. So, do you have a pig in your house, class? Yes, ma'am. Very yes, ma good. So, class, how do you care for your pig? We care our pig by giving food and by washing them. Oh, very good. So, class, what do you think is our lesson for today? Ma'am, our lesson this to morning is about vertebrate and invertebrate. Very good. So, it's all about vertebrates and invertebrates. So, so, class, do you think there are animals that can move their body even without a backbone? Yes, ma'am. Okay, there are animals that can move without backbone, of course. So, what do you call an animal that have no backbone? The animals without backbones are invertebrates. Okay, very good. So, who can give an example of in invertebrates animals? Lucien. Jellyfish, ma'am. Very good. What else? Snake. Oh, very good. So now, what do you call the animals that have a backbone? The animals that have backbones are vertebrates. Very good. Who can give an example of vertebrates animals? Monkey, ma'am. Why is it that the monkey is a vertebrate animals? Because the monkey has a backbone. That's right. Now, let me ask you a question. We as human, where do you think where we belong? Invertebrates or vertebrates? And give me the reason why. We belong to vertebrates, ma'am, because we have as human has a backbone. Okay, very good. So let's give her a round of applause, please. So I have here a flashcard. It has the name of different kinds of animals. So all you have to do is to raise your hands if you want to answer. Okay, number one. Read the word. Tapeworm. Okay. What is the characteristic of the tapeworm and where do it belong? 
and vertebrates, ma'am. Okay, very good. So, next is... Lich. So, lich, what is the classification of the lich? And vertebrates. Yes, very good. Next is... Crocodile. So, where does it belong? Vertebrate. Good. Next one is... Goat. Goat. So, where does it belong? Vertebrates, man. Very good. Next one is... Jellyfish. Jellyfish. So, where do it belong? And vertebrates. And the last one is... Monkey. Monkey. Okay, where do it belong? Vertebrates. Okay, very Vertebrate animals are animals with... Backbone. backbone. And invertebrate animals are animals without backbone. So, did you understand our lesson for today, class? Yes, ma'am. Okay, very good. So, let us go back to the question. Let us read. Everybody, please read. What, what is, is the, the difference, difference between, between invertebrates and, and vertebrates animals? animals? Mm -hmm. So, who will answer the question? And vertebrates animals are animals without backbone, and the vertebrates animals are animals having a backbone. Okay, very good. So, Lochel is very good. Invertebrates are animals without backbone, and vertebrates are animals with backbone. Okay. At this time, I will group you into two groups. What are you going to do is to choose a leader, and the leaders will go in front to get the envelope. Once you open the envelope, make sure to follow the instructions carefully. I will give you three minutes to do the task. Everybody has a representative, so you may now go in front and get your questions. Okay, you have given three minutes to do the task. So, in group one, uh, the following activity is to list down 10 examples of vertebrates animals and group 2 is to list down 10 examples of invertebrate animals. So, let's go in group 1. So, vertebrate, cat, okay, check. Chicken, correct. Crocodile, horse, kangaroo, dog, rat, rabbit. Frank Lizard. Okay, very good. So, the score of group 1 is 10 over 10. In group 2, is the invertebrate is to list down the example of invertebrate animal. So, butterfly. Check. Very good. Centipede. Check. Snake. Spider. Ground worm. Octopus. Sea urchin. Jellyfish. Grasshopper. And okay, very good. So the score is 10 over 10. So everyone got our, our lesson for today and understand it. So let's give ourselves a round of applause. I guess you have learned a lot in our discussion this morning. So kindly get one half sheets of paper and answer the following. So direction in letter test one, letter A. Put a check before the number if the animal is a vertebrate and if the animal is an invertebrate. Put an X. Okay. B. Group the names of the animals in the box whether they are vertebrates or invertebrates. So, the following animals are here in the box and all you have to do is to group the animals into two groups. Okay. Do you understand class? Yes, yes ma'am. Okay, very good. So, I guess you have understood our lesson for this morning. Kindly get your assignment notebook and copy and answer the following questions. So, I have here the assignment. So, all you have to do is to answer the following two questions. So, number one, what are the following five classes of vertebrates and Number two, give at least five examples of each classes. So, I guess you have already done answering and copying the assignment. Goodbye, class. Goodbye, ma'am.